all Jesus needed from the disciples was stay here with me and keep watch with me. And that is what we need from our friends. That is what we need from the people that is in our circle. Stay here with me. Find your safe space. The number one thing that emptiness will make you do is to go into isolation. It wants to make you withdraw from people because you feel like nobody understands me. Nobody will get me. Your safe space is finding a safe circle of family and friends and people you can trust whereby you can be you. You can share. You can be vulnerable. Because you need this space. Whether you believe me or not, you need a safe space. You can't do life in isolation. A proverb in my place says, A tree don't stand alone to become a forest. So if you ever want to become something great, you will need people because you need them to hold up space for you. And that is God's best for you. I know the feeling of, they may not understand me and how can they even help? The truth is, they don't need to understand you, but you know that you need them just for you to be able to pour out your heart and lose that weight and let go of that burden just to be vulnerable and to share. That is what you need them for. And indeed, they cannot solve all your problems. They don't need to have the answers to the questions you have. They don't need to have the answers to the things that trouble you. But you need to have a safe space where you not be judged or criticized or looked down upon. Because Job, in scripture, expected that he would have had a safe circle who understood him. But instead, his friends were there trying to put more fire, to make the fire burn. And if you have such a circle around you, it is not a safe space for you. You need to find your safe space. Even Jesus in the scriptures needed a safe space. And the twelve was not a safe space. So he needed to find the three where he could go up to the Mount of Transfiguration with and he could lead them into places that others did not know. He could lead them to let them know his secrets. And at this particular point in Jesus' life in Matthew chapter 26, he was at one of the most distressing time in his life and he needed his safe space. The Bible says, He took Peter and Zebedee's two sons, James and John, and he became anguished and distressed. He told them, my soul is crushed with grief to the point of death. Stay here and keep watch with me. That is all he needed. First of all, he just needed to upload his heart to be vulnerable, to share with them. My soul is crushed with grief. The purpose that I have ahead of me, the mission ahead of me is so great that I am grieving already. My soul is distressed. And he did not tell Peter, James, and John this so that they can offer any help or start advising him. And this is for you who may be a friend to someone going through something. It is not everything that your friend comes to share with you that you need to offer advice. Some things, they just need you to listen. It is not everything that they need you to offer advice. Somehow they might need your perspective. And if they do, fine, you can offer. But don't be this friend that is always eager to want to offer solution because you don't have solution to everything. It is human to want to offer solution to people's problems. But then you have to be so aware that some problems, they don't share it for you to offer solution. They share it for you to just listen. Just hear me out. This is what I'm going through. I am learning this. And all Jesus needed from the disciples was stay here with me and keep watch with me. And that is what we need from our friends. That is what we need from the people that is in our circle. Stay here with me. Let me know that you stand with me in this. Let me know you are praying for me. Let me know you are watching this space for me. Let me know you are keeping this space for me. This is our safe space. I hope you have a safe space. I hope you can find a safe space. I hope you can create a safe space because you need it. I need a safe space. My friends need a safe space in me. And I hope I can become a safe space for them. In conclusion, resting is a big part of filling the void of emptiness inside of you. You need to rest so that you can be refreshed. You need to physically do things that are going to help your soul get refreshed. If you need a size, get some. Whatever you need to make sure that you are operating fully, get to do it and make sure that you are sound. You can drop in the comments how you deal with your emptiness and whatever you do to fill the void. Thank you so much for watching this video. If this video is helpful to you, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. I am Uwe Mepan. This is my YouTube channel. It is a pleasure to have you watch. Thank you so much for watching. I'm smiling at you. <laughs> Thank you. God bless you.
See you in my next video. Bye-bye.